You can make these natural scent boosters with as little as two ingredients and they work and make your washing smell wonderful. So hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a really easy way to make natural scent boosters for your washing. There's loads of reasons why you might want to make natural scent boosters and I will link a blog post down below which will explain about the different chemicals and the toxicity of some of them for both humans and the, um, the world, the waterworks and things like that. So just because you don't want those toxic chemicals though, it doesn't mean you don't want your washing to smell nice. So I've gathered together the things that you'll need. So hello, here's me. I've got a label here that I've made and I've linked the PDF down below if you'd like that. You need a storage container for your finished scent boosters, preferably glass or pot. I've got an old mason jar cup that we don't really use anymore. It's got a hole in the lid, but I'm gonna stick a piece of cardboard in that to try and make it a bit more airtight. Um, you're going to need your essential oils or fragrance oils in any fragrance that you prefer. I like fresh and citrus. So I've got lemon essential oils, eucalyptus and pink grapefruit and I'm going to do a mix of them all. A fragrance oil could last longer than an essential oil but I prefer to use essential oils because of their purity. Then you're going to need kosher salt. The reason why you've got kosher salt is because the size of the granules is a little bit larger than table salt and they're not going to dissolve as quickly as say table salt in your washing machine so it'll last longer during the wash and the scent will stay in your wash for longer towards the end of the wash. You could also use rock salt but don't use Epsom salt because that will actually make your water harder and isn't any good for scent boosting out or your machine. Then you need something to mix it in, make sure it's a pot or a glass bowl, something that's not going to take on the essential oils like plastic and a spoon to mix. So my first job is to fix the lid. I've got a piece of cardboard that I've cut out to fit and I've got my hot glue gun and I'm just going to stick it in. Don't worry if you don't have a hot glue gun, you can just use normal glue. So the recipe that you're going to use is per one cup of salt, you want at least 20 drops of your essential or fragrance oils. So first of all, I'm going to see how much my mason jar actually holds. That's going to be too hard to fill, so I'm going to use a half cup actually. So my jar holds two and a half cups. So that's going to be about 50 drops of oil minimum. Now you could make this recipe straight in your storage jar by adding half a cup of salt and then a few more drops of oil, give it a good shake and um, keep going like that but I want to do it in a bowl to make sure that the essential oils are really incorporated. So I've got my lemon essential oil and I'm going to add 20 drops of this. Then I'm going to use 10 drops of eucalyptus oil and then 20 drops of pink grapefruit. Don't worry if the oil is does have a colour to it like this pink grapefruit is quite yellow don't worry about that it's not going to come out into your washing or anything like that having a color actually means that you can check that it's being incorporated into all the salts the salts aren't dissolving they're just taking on the fragrance mix it around lots make sure that it's really incorporated give it a smell make sure it's as strong enough I'm gonna add a little bit more pink grapefruit because I really like that fragrance and because I like it super strong a few more drops of lemon and that is it that's your in-wash scent boosters you want to give it at least four hours to sit and really develop the scent before you use it but obviously it's better if you leave it overnight the scent in these salts should last for as long as you're going to need it to use it and if you ever think it's losing scent you can just add a few more drops and give it a shake. So I'm going to spoon all these salts into my jar and that's literally it. It's as easy as that. I'm going to stick my label on and that's it done. Natural in-wash scent boosters 
for your washing. I hope you've liked this quick video. I've got lots more videos coming up about natural products to use around your home and beauty to reduce the number of chemicals and also save money. Please do share and follow for more videos. Thanks.